Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I thought it would be a crime not to talk about Rishi mushroom and not to make this video. This woody tree mushroom is known in as the, the medicine of kings, the herb of good fortune, the mushroom of immortality. <laughs> it's been revered and used by Taoists for millennia and lately or reasonably recently the West and Asia, the West and the East have now done scientific research to prove that this is ultimately, truly an amazing ultimate herb and something that we all want to be thinking about taking into our lives for real. And let me tell you why it's so good and why the Taoists revered it and the Chinese as a top of their herbal pharmacopoeia for thousands of years. It was actually, imagine out of 5,000 herbs in 5,000 years approximately of Chinese herbalism, Rishi was basically ranked as number one. And that is saying something. It used to be the emblem, it used to be on like the, the above the doors or statues or like carvings of Rishi mushroom. The emperor used to go out getting people to search far and wide looking for this mushroom in the forests. <laughs> It's a beautiful, amazing look to it, by the way. It's a hard, woody mushroom, and you can't just eat it. You've got to extract the, the compounds, hundreds of bioactive, bioavailable molecules working synergistically together in many different parts of the body. It's been known to transform people's lives, truly. I've heard two people now say this on YouTube, but I've read, obviously, it's affected low, countless people it's actually a truly transformed of substance. <laughs> I love Rishi mushroom. So you can either extract it by alcohol extract or um, water extract. So on my web shop I do the powder, the extract powder from water extract, but I also now do dual extract, which means it's water and alcohol combined to get the fullest amount of nutrients and bioactive compounds available to the human body. I really would recommend, to be honest, the dual extraction if possible, but not to worry because the powder extract, the powder water extract does, is the typical way it's been used for a very, very long period of time and it'll work wonders on you. I highly recommend trying both, to be honest. Oh yeah, so the herb of, <laughs> of good fortune. The medicine of kings, the mushroom of immortality. Let me tell you some of its benefits. First of all, it's a sh it's a tr it's a tri treasure tonic, and that means it works on the famous Shen, Jing, and Qi. So it gives you energy. It modulates your entire immune system and your entire body. It brings homeostasis and synergy and balance to the yin and the yang and uh, all your systems working together sensational it's up there with the the best of the best like siberian ginseng G ginseng in ancient china and um, goji berries like uh, aka lyceum or or wolfberry um, rhodiola, astragalus, very famous things, and more recently gynostemma, which is a more recent addition into the Chinese pharmacopoeia. Bam! Highly recommend trying out all of them, to be honest, for definite. And many more. Have a look at my website, Higher Self Herbs, inspired website, and just generally YouTube search and research. So, yeah, Rishi, getting back to what I was saying, it used to be like on the staff, like on the, the staff of the king. It would only be used by the royal family. It was so rare, prized and treasured. It used to, used to have like a carving of the Rishi mushroom on top where you'd hold the staff or the scepter. It was like carved into doors. It was an emblem of prestige, like elegance, like heightened social stature. It was up, it was like such a noble emblem and thing to have a char character a representation of like high prizedness you know so as i was saying okay i'll get back to this try treasured okay shen jing qi qi is your energy every day 
Jing is your deep research of adrenal, sexual energy, adaptive energy, the power that you inherit from your generations before you. It's your the power and strength of your brain, memory, concentration, fertility, libido, virility, reproductive strength, ability to heal from wounds and to recover, to, to age youthfully and to, to be flexible, strong and powerful, to manifest your dreams. Jing is powerful. Then there's the the Shen. Rishi is extremely famous as a powerful top Shen tonic. Shen is your your heart, your spirit, your 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 connection to the world, your connection to yourself, your feeling of well-being in life, feeling grounded, centered, balanced, well, happy, inner peace. To be able to manifest your dreams, you need you need the Jing. But you you also want you need the Shen is the it's the true purpose in life your true passions and calling and your 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 true excitement and joy you bring into the world it's not to be doing fiddling around stuff feeling lost and confused Shen is your heart they say Shen is the they say they say the purpose of herbs is really to give you the energy and the clarity and the wellness to live your true life purpose so to speak. To do what's truly important to you, and I've I've heard and read, listened to stories of people who were lost in life, suffered from anger, rage, depression, being lost, being in a mental and emotional mess, after taking Rishi for a while, <laughs> rage going down, rage disappears, depression goes away, confusion, heaviness, grey, darkness goes away. So for anyone suffering from mental and emotional issues, Rishi is something to try out for sure. And I'd recommend also, yeah, Rhodiola is a good one, obviously, the asparagus root. But I definitely try, and Siberian ginseng, I definitely will be trying Rishi, without a shadow of a doubt. But, but let's get on to other things. Rishi is being shown scientifically to be an amazing anti-cancer herb. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> There's so many the FDA not nibbling on your finger heels. Okay, obviously I'm not prescribing this as a medication to treat or diagnose disease, all that type of thing. I'm not saying it's a medication, but I'm saying it has been shown in scientific things to do numerous immune system markers like macrophages, T cells, um, I don't know, other different things in the immune system that have significant um, ramifications which got to do with stuff like AIDS, autoimmune disorders, um, infections, viruses, fl getting flu, cold, chronic bronchitis. It's been shown also, it's been administered, tested and tried, scientifically controlled to, for, to be very helpful also for diabetes. Within, within, a, few, within a week, tip markers significantly improved and then after a few weeks it's like really improved. So. They're just to name a few, immune system, tumours, it's been shown to have significant like ways to protect against tumours and cancer, and this is in studies. So, it's also very protective to the liver. And pr the liver after the brain, they say, is probably the most important thing in the body, if you can start labelling the organs, they're all working synergistically, but um, the liver makes so so many different things in the body is made and constructed. They say it's like our our manufacturing plant. It manufactures and makes like loads of stuff. For example, one that's very important is CoQ10. And if you don't have CoQ10, that's like gives energy to the mitochondrion. That's that's like helps with energy production in the mitochondrion of every single cell. And if this is low and it's lowered by statin drugs, it's not good. So uh, they say if you're on statin cholesterol lowering drugs, you should consider taking CoQ10. But you, do, you should also consider nurturing and building the strength of your liver. So famous herbs that I have in my shop and that I recommend for liver, definitely without a doubt, is, is um, reishi mushroom and shizandra berries. They're ex excellent. And I also actually specifically have a, a cleanse formula called cleanse, which which is excellent for building blood, cleansing the blood, and, and protecting and cleansing the liver. So I'd highly recommend having a look at the liver formula. I'll probably put it below the video. 
Um, there's also an immune formula I have, which is great, which includes some of the amazing top immune system herbs that are in the world, including one you may have heard of called Cat's Claw, excellent stuff, including Astragalus, Reishi, and some other ones. Some other medicinal mushrooms which have been shown amazingly to be phenomenal for the immune system, like Shiitake, Maitake. <laughs> I'd highly recommend giving Reishi a go. It's also been shown to calm the nerves, find relaxation and peace against stress, be more grounded to deal with life's problems and trials and errors, should I say challenges. It's also very cardiovascular protective, so it's very good against cardiovascular disease. On studies against, with humans where the cardiovascular medications didn't work, it was shown to have significant benefits for people where the medications for cardiovascular disease and stroke were not working, or at least they weren't good enough or able to work. So for, their, for that, recommended, properly shown. And I'll leave links to resources where I've gotten some of this information from. It's also a natural antihistamine, and this is being shown. So for people with allergies, very good. It's also being shown to aid sleep, of course, for all its relaxation purposes and calming the nerves purposes. Also as to reduce inflammation and in the body and to reduce cholesterol. So that's blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, heart attack, cardiovascular disease, stroke, cancer, tumor, immune system, liver tonic, shen tonic, gene tonic, chi tonic, the herb of good fortune, the medicine of kings, the mushroom of immortality. It's also known as the great protector because it protects your body, your mind and your spirit. I don't know, can't recommend it enough, so I really recommend giving it a go. Try the, try the dual extract and I'm really excited to have my body in my, <laughs> in my herb shop, Higher Self Herbs, that I love. And let me know how you get, get on, leave us a um, testimonial, a um, review on my website. And I do thank you for watching, I thank you for your company and I thank you for being awesome and amazing creator in life that you are. So stay strong, powerful, fit, healthy and look after your body in all ways guys. Your health is your wealth. It's the vehicle of the soul. You need to nurture your power. I just... I don't know, it's hard to say sometimes, you know, you just, I care for people, I've been through so much in my life and I want the best for people and that's one of the reasons why I started my inspired herb shop, HireSelfHerbs.com and so many different good stuff there, you know, and I just want people to shine and to be empowered and to feel well and to create their life that they want to experience. That's what life's about, creating the experience that you want. So one of the best questions you could ever ask yourself is, what do I want to experience generally in my life and today? And then think about it and go out there and start experiencing what you want. Because there's no rules, there's no whole bar, there's no limitations. Okay, sure thing, you can't fly or teleport because that's not what we came here for. But I'm just saying, the world is your oyster, so go out there and have fun. Create the life of your dreams. I'll leave you with that and I'll send you love and best wishes. This is Owen Fox here from Ireland. And I'll see you again in another video. Please feel welcome to say hi and stay in touch. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm waiting on the tincture in the post. And it's actually wild rishi from Thailand, can you believe? And the, the grown rishis are very uniform looking. And the wild is all like straggly and contorted on different shapes. And even like, looks like dirty, you know. But... I'm very excited about overall Rishi. The best commercially grown Rishi, which is phenomenal too, is Dawnwood Rishi, and that's the stock, that's the type that I um, have in the powder extract, which has been shown to produce brilliant results. That is wild logs from the forest that the Rishi is inoculated to grow on. So just for that little piece of information for yourself. Hmm. Bye.